I am Dr. Steve Penny, and in this video, we will review a common and frustrating injury, a ruptured Achilles tendon. An Achilles tendon rupture is a common injury among active individuals, particularly athletes as they get older. It's a frustrating injury because a complete recovery takes a long time. The Achilles tendon is the largest tendon in the body because it has to withstand the most forces of any tendon. The tendon forms at the end of the calf muscle and contraction of the calf muscle generates force through the Achilles tendon. The Achilles tendon attaches to the back of the heel bone, which allows it to apply considerable force to the foot. These forces can be a couple of times body weight with walking and many times body weight with sprinting and sudden change of direction movements. The peak force going through the Achilles tendon occurs as the calf muscle is contracting at the same time that the tendon and muscle unit is lengthening. A sudden change of direction movement is one example where this type of contraction occurs. This muscle contraction is known as an eccentric contraction and the internal forces it generates within the tendon are very large. Achilles tendon ruptures are more common in recreational athletes in their 30s and 40s, although the injury can occur in patients of any age. The reason for this is that as people age, the Achilles tendon stiffens and weakens somewhat, making it more susceptible to a rupture. When the tendon does rupture, it tends to tear completely in an explosive manner, similar to the way a rubber band under excessive force will rupture. Therefore, incomplete or partial Achilles tendon ruptures are very rare. This sudden failure of the tendon is why people who rupture their Achilles often describe the injury as if they were struck by someone on the back of the heel, even though there is usually no one nearby. Patients will have immediate pain following an Achilles rupture, although pain symptoms can settle quickly. They will either not be able to walk or will walk with a considerable limp, as the loss of the Achilles function means the calf muscle can no longer control the body weight during walking. Patients with an Achilles tear will often have a palpable gap in the area where the Achilles was. However, the tear is definitively diagnosed using a maneuver called the calf squeeze test or Thompson test. With the patient lying on their stomach, the affected calf is squeezed. Rupture of the Achilles tendon creates a discontinuity between the calf muscle and the foot. If the Achilles tendon is intact, when the calf muscle is squeezed, the foot will plantar flex. However, with an Achilles tendon rupture, no motion will be observed. It's essential that an Achilles rupture initially be mobilized with the foot pointing down, as this will place the ruptured ends of the tendon together, preventing scar from forming in the ruptured site. Successful treatment of an Achilles tendon rupture can be achieved with or without surgery, although with each approach there are advantages and disadvantages. In both cases, the recovery is much longer than patients would like, usually many months. For more details on the treatment of Achilles tendon ruptures, check out our video on treatment options or click on the link below. Wishing you good foot health, I'm Dr. Steve Penny.